So. Hop. What's up guys, we got the Workos TS-10 here. Excited to get this. I did order a black one, which I actually ordered first from workerswerkos.com. But I saw this was cheap on Amazon. Uh, I think I paid like 18 something. So I picked this up too. We got the red one, but I did order the black one. TS-10 red with the red auxiliary, 4,000K, which I did take this out. Not outside, but out of the box. And I don't know if the tint's 4,000K. It looks kind of closer to 5,000. Maybe 4,500, but it's nice. Which I do prefer better than 4,000K. Because they do have a 6,000K. But there's the box. But yeah, I've been messing with it a little bit. And I like it. We gotta pick this manual up. Hold up. So we got the manual. We got the lanyard. Uh, a couple spare O rings. And the light. Like always, let's go through this manual first. So you guys know I'm not a huge fan of Andrel, but yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. It has like simple UI, which I don't know if mine came in. I'm not 100% sure. That's why I don't like Andrel too much, but yeah. So you get step modes, which I put it in. Luckily, that's easy to do, but this is not... English. <laughs> well, let <laughs> the English. This shit should help. English. So you can read all that. So all the H's are the lumens. You guys can kind of read that. I'll just kind of go through, you know, the higher... Uh, or the better things. Um, does have the three. I think they're like something 50 50 LEDs. I can't remember. I do forget what LEDs are in here. I always forget. Um, but it has Enderol 2. And it, and it does have a single color you can choose for the auxiliary. So it's not like the TS11. You know, the little thrower where you can choose different ones. Um, but yeah. So I, I do have the black one coming. In uh, green. And I ordered a black clip because this has like that silver. Which I don't <clears throat> personally like. I think the black would look a lot better. But that'll... <clears throat> geez, that'll probably come in a couple weeks. And it does have... It's a 14500 light. You know, it's not my favorite, but... You know, what can you do? And there's advanced temperature regulation, which this thing does get hot, get hot fast. So, you know, be weary of that because this small of a light, 1400 lumens is just, it's a lot, which I'm not really a fan of like these high, high power because these 14500, man, they're going to go quick. <laughs> so if this is like your EDC light, man, get another battery, at least one. Because there is no onboard charging either, so yeah. Let's file that crap. Let's look at the light quickly. Alright, here she is. So definitely smaller than I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> but it was when I opened, I thought it was going to be like a little bigger. Because uh, I usually like, don't like to like look at the, all the weight and all that. Because I want to be more surprised when I get stuff. Plus I... Plus, I buy, buy a lot of crap, so <laughs> I just buy stuff. But yeah, first off, nice milling, you know, 
there isn't really too much grip. That's only kind of the con here, but you know, you got to kind of hold it. Your fing you know, your finger does fit uh, in this groove here, but or otherwise there's just no grip. But it's small, so you kind of hold it like that. And it does have an e-switch button. You have to unscrew the head. It's uh this is, they glued it. I think it was like that Lumen Top FW3A or so. That it had like problems. They glued the rear. So you get that little tube. I can't tell if they're square cut. I can't tell if the threads are square cut or what. But there's the driver. I don't know if it's regulated or unregulated. I don't know. It's a cheap light, so yeah. And you're paying under 20 bucks most of the time. The black one is more on Amazon than this one. That's why I just cho chose this. It's just like four, roughly four to five bucks cheaper. So you just double check. Um, I prefer the black flashlights. People get sick of it, but personally, I like. But you get the 900 milliamp. So this does not have a USB-C charging. So that, it doesn't suck, but it's kind of something I like to see now, you know, on the batteries that come in a flashlight, because especially if you get the ones with that, you know, you can get a case, bring a portable charger, you know, charge at least one of them up while you're using the light. It's all, that's always good to see, but they didn't do that, but it's budget. So some people won't like that. Because they want, you know, USB-C charging, but, yeah. And I can see it's lubed up real nice. So let's shut this up. Ooh, it's dark. You're going to see those. So you can press and hold to go through the modes. From on, click three times. And I did not do that right. I think I clicked four. All right, there we go. <laughs> so from on, one, two, three. Now it's gonna be in ramping. Double click for turbo. Double click to go back to the last mode. One, two, three. I like it. Step. And I didn't do it. There we go. Yeah, because sometimes this has like the... Uh, let me turn on the light here. The double click to stroll, but sometimes it does like that go to high. I think that's an Android thing, but sometimes it just goes to turbo. I don't know. Because the other uh, workos did it too. The little thrower, so... Sometimes I double click and then it goes to high. See, it did it there. A double click should be turbo. I don't need double click to go to straight to high. I want it for turbo. But yeah, anyways, you know, it doesn't hurt the light in any way, but yeah. You get that clicky. I don't know if it's aluminum or. I don't know. It feels like plastic, but I don't know. I don't think they'd put a plastic so it. Who knows? <laughs> but anyways, a nice light, man. 1400 lumens. I mean, it's so cute, man. <laughs> I don't really see that in flashlights, but look at that. Those three LED. Kind of like a TIR optic. Yeah, I can't wait for the black one. Put the black clip on there. But yeah, man, she's nice. Uh, we're going to do beam shots. I'm going to put them in this video because I got too many videos, so I'm going to probably start doing that. But sometimes it's hard to edit, so that's why I really kind of do two. Because when I get a lot of these lights, like I got too many videos, man, that it's just it's getting too much. But yeah, we're going to put that here. 1400 lumens. Really nice. You know, I'd probably, I'll probably use mostly like the kind of medium, 
to high because this does get hot. And you can reactivate turbo. But the tint, man, is beautiful. It's how I like it. It could be a little warmer. I wouldn't mind, but yeah. Well, let's get straight to those beam shots. All right, what's up, everybody? We got the work calls TS10, the 4000K. Um, I still got the black one coming. <laughs> it's probably in another week or so. Uh, we're going to do beam shots. We're at the tree. It's roughly, like I say, 30 feet away or so. And I have it in the stepped, so because I'm not a fan of ramping, really. So, yeah. Plus, there was a car that came through here. Rate I set up, and then boom, there's a car coming up in here in the graveyard. Then I kind of walk away, and then I come back, and I see two dogs getting in the car. So I don't know why there's loose dogs out here, <laughs> but it's a graveyard. So you can see it is on, but obviously this is more like a floody kind of light. You can hear the train coming. Here's the next mode up. You guys can't see it. Next mode up. I can barely see it hitting the tree. Next mode up. You guys aren't going to be able to see anything. It is on. Next mode up. See, that's the thing. There's there's so many modes, man. Next mode up. Now you're starting to see it. Next mode up. And that was high. Double click turbo. Yeah, this thing has a lot of flood. It does throw farther than I would have thought for this light. Look at that, it's lighting up the whole tree. 1400 lumens. Let's turn it down, because she gets hot quick. So it says 1400 lumens, but I don't know if these LEDs get 14 or the cool white. So I don't know. But yeah, it's getting hot. But this thing does throw a little farther than I would have thought, you know, for not having a reflector, really, like TIR optics. So it definitely does throw pretty good and a lot of flood. Um, but it is not windy, so we're just going to do a quick walk down. So I'm just going to do a walk down because it's not going to really pick it up. So just high and turbo. Point just straight, it's almost at my feet. It's like a foot away. So yeah, you guys can see it's hard to pick up with these phones, man. I can't pick up the low mode, so. But yeah, you get a lot of mode choices. If you choose that, or you get ramping, you get a lot of stepless dimming. But yeah, let's put it on high again. We'll kind of go through all. So it is hitting that tree. Uh, you guys can't tell. But yeah, this tint is really nice. I don't think it's 4000K. I don't know, it might be. But it's definitely cooler white than the C8L that has 4000K. But yeah, I can see it barely hitting the tree. If... Boom. 1400. Now I can see it hitting the tree. I would be, I would be able to see if somebody was there. But this thing just, it gets hot fast. I think, yeah, it's already stepping down. Because she is freaking hot. Can it hit way down there? Yeah, it can't make it down there, which I didn't think it would. Which from here to way down there is probably 
over a little over 100 yards. What's up? See, look at that. It's pretty bright. This red LED. Because this is good if you know if you're reading up close too. Um, but the black one, I did choose the green for the LED because you can't switch it with the light. But yeah, I'll just give you my thoughts on it, and then we'll end the video. So my overall thoughts: I really like this little guy, man. I'm glad I got the black one coming with the got a black clip too because I don't like the stainless steel looking clip. Um, but yeah. It's really nice, it just gets hot fast, but I mean, that's to be expected with this little guy. And it uses the 18350. I'm not the biggest fan of those batteries, but you know, due to the runtime, but they work good. And they are, it's the battery is small too, because the uh, uh, the Manker, those USB C rechargeable are much bigger. So, I believe this is probably like an unprotected. 18350 which I need to get some um, I think uh, I forget what brand but the VAP cell I got to get some of those I got to get 14500s too because I don't have too many because one of those went bad the VAP cell um, it's probably five years old but on turbo and stuff it wouldn't work right so but anyways yeah we'll get back to this light so it does have a lot of modes uh, you can switch to stepped or ramping. You get a lot of uh, configuration with Andrel. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan. Um, I do like some of the stuff it does, obviously, but it's just too much. I like simple stuff, because if you mess it up, it might not be good. <laughs> but overall, man, I recommend it. Plus this one, you know, was pretty cheap, so under 20. There's a lot of cops, man. There was, before I filmed too, a bunch of cops. But it is Friday night, so usually I'm not out Friday night. But yeah, I think that'll be it, man. I just do wish too they'd have a little deeper carry pocket clip. I know some people are complaining. Um, I do wish it was a little bit deeper, but what can you do? I'm sure maybe there's another clip out there you can get, but I don't know. I'm gonna step back. See, look at that. Lighting up my face with this. Oh, and I really lit it up. Oh, man. That was dumb. <laughs> that was dumb. Because I got to film. I got so many videos, man. You guys, I got to film. But I'm having fun. So that's what counts. Plus, the state fair is over. So it's. I could tell it's a little bit darker out here. Because there's a lot of lights from that. But yeah, overall, I recommend this, man. Under 20 bucks, you can kind of get it for. The black one's a little more. But if you go to Workos, I, I purchased this from Amazon. So that's why it was like 20-something, plus it had 40% off. So that's why I got it. Because I have the black one coming before this. But obviously, Amazon can ship quicker, so I got it quicker. But I do recommend it, man. I'm glad I got two. I'll probably keep this one downstairs. Because I like that it lights up so I can see. But just remember to charge it because this is will drain the battery who knows how long but maybe every couple weeks or at least once once a month maybe charge it up you know and it doesn't have you know onboard charging which kind of sucks but it's small so you know you can't really fault it but overall I like it uh, it's really nice it's pretty nice to hold too kind of like a cigar it doesn't have a lot of grip so you got to kind of you know kind of do if you can see my hand a little bit there we go kind of hold it like that or like this because it doesn't have a lot of grip but that's gonna be it I want to thank you guys for watching comment subscribe if you want to even though I gained really nothing at all this channel is pretty much dead but you know I still like to come out here it makes me want to go out you know doing this so I don't really do it for views too much, but obviously I want some, but it makes me want to go out, man. And I am lazy, so it's good. But yeah, we got more videos coming. I got to do the uh, Sulfur IF30 right after this. 
So we'll see what one I release first. Maybe I'll, that one. Who knows? All right, guys. Peace.